Hey there, you beautiful noodles. My name is Kalia. If you're new and if you are new, be sure to hit that subscribe button right there down below so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Now, today is Saturday and Saturdays we do sad chat videos and this one's gonna be a quickie, you know, quickie, a goodie, whatever. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but today's gonna be a quickie and that's just because I have been missing for the past two weeks. And you know, I wanted this video to be kind of like a, like a conversation to myself but also between you guys because i know you know i have this habit i'll go on instagram which you should follow my instagram do that and i'll do my little story in the morning when i'm like good morning you beautiful noodles and i'll tell you guys that i've got a new video coming out or we've got a podcast episode or you know i've got a song that's dropping or something like that and it never happens and then i never say anything about it and i just wanted to address that really quickly and then kind of talk about why sometimes we make these lofty promises to ourselves and don't follow through and then we just don't discuss it for the past couple weeks i've been saying you know oh i've got a brand new uh sad chat video i've got a brand new music monday video coming out and it never comes out and i never say anything about it i have a problem <laughs> okay let's just it, point blank period i have a problem i'll over promise things a lot and because I am, I don't know if I want to say ashamed, but like I'm disappointed in myself really for not following through. I tend to think that if I don't say anything, then it's gone. It's history. You know, no one's going to think about it. Like it's not, it's not a thing. Like it doesn't count. It, it like, you know, it never happened. So it's fine. It's really toxic. Like it's really a bad thing for me to do. And if you do this too, then it's, it's not good. Like it's not something that we should do. And one of the main reasons why is because we start to lie to ourselves. And I think that if you lie to yourself, you will find no problem lying to other people. And lying obviously is bad, but it starts to take away your credibility, you know? It starts to take away opportunities that you might have because people might ask you to do something and then it just doesn't happen. And then you think it's fine, but that person now has you on a list of someone that's not going to be asked for opportunities you're not like you won't be reached out for certain things you won't be able to do a lot of things that you feel that you should be able to do and then you'll start building resentment towards yourself and resentment towards others and it becomes this just a terrible cycle of not blaming yourself and constantly blaming other people for a lot of things that you obviously had a hand in why they happened the way they did now I am putting this video out because I want it to be a self accountability like I am holding myself accountable for all of the things that I've missed all of the things that I haven't done all of the promises that I've said all of the videos that I've said would be put out like I am holding myself accountable and from this day forward if I do not have a video to post and it's not been done and I won't have it done that day I am going to be 100% honest because I've been trying to you know, put on this facade, like, oh, I'm a YouTuber, I put out videos, I do this. And yes, you know, you don't consistently have to be doing something in order to say that you are like, I'm a singer, but I don't sing everything I say, that will be annoying and I'm not in a Disney movie, so I'm not gonna do that, you know? I'm a designer, like I make clothing, but I don't drop a line every season. That doesn't mean that I'm not a designer and that's not what I went to school for. So i have to get out of the mindset and you do too that if you're not constantly creating you're not constantly making something you're not constantly putting out content that doesn't invalidate your experience as whatever it is that you are you know like if you're a teacher and you don't teach in the summer, like you don't do summer school that doesn't mean you're not a teacher you just don't do summer school this self-therapeutic video is me telling myself and me telling you if you missed out on a due date, if you missed out on putting out something that you said you would, if you missed out on a personal goal, if you missed out on a financial goal, if you missed out on just planning something, anything, if you missed out on something that you set for yourself, it's okay. You didn't get it done. That is what it is. Like That is a fact. You didn't finish it. It is a fact. Accept this fact. Now, moving forward, we take what happened that made it so we didn't finish it. So the next time we do it, because we will do it again, you know, we're not giving up. We're going to do this again. Like I'm hopping on my YouTube bag again. We're going to take what we learned from last time and we're going to fix it in the future. See me, I try to force myself to make the videos the day that they're supposed to come out 
and that's not like it doesn't work obviously any video that you watch of a good prominent youtuber and they're telling you their tips they batch record so they record before the day that it has to go out so you have time if something goes wrong you can do it again I don't know what made me think that I was better than them they've been doing this longer than me they put out more videos than me like they you know so I am doing this now the right way you will have a sad chat video today because that's this video you will have a music Monday video because I already recorded it and you will have a wild card Wednesday video because I've already recorded it so for this next week the content is done okay the content's done it's coming out because I did it I did it and I know that it's done and it's good it's done it's done the next week whole nother bandwagon that I gotta hop on but I'm doing this I'm sorry that I missed out on all of these days and I hope that you guys will keep watching my videos and keep telling your friends because I want nothing more than to be able to keep giving you content because I love this like I love I love doing this you know it's it's this is fun for me like I love the editing process I love like I love doing this and if this takes me anywhere further than recording in a corner in my apartment I would love it but if it doesn't I still love it because these videos are being made for you guys and they're also being made for me so i hope that you enjoy my content i hope that if you're new you really did subscribe and i hope that you tell your friends and i hope to see you back in my next video bye